shit! Hey internet, how's it going? Ricardo here with my first impressions of Captain Marvel. Now, it probably won't be surprising for you guys to find out that my introduction to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or MCU, happened with their, well, first technical movie for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Iron Man. However, what actually might surprise you is the fact that that was actually my first introduction to Marvel in general. Before that, I just knew a handful of characters and that was about it, mainly because of the fact that growing up, I really didn't have any access to comics. Yeah, sadly, I wasn't one of those kids that were able to go to the comic store and literally just explore the wide world of the superhero genre. So, this was literally my first introduction to a good superhero movie that were, well, just about superheroes. Technically, I knew about the X-Men beforehand, but I really don't consider those superhero movies. They're more like just an analogy of oppression and, you know, slavery and that kind of junk. But speaking of it, as I just said, I just went to go see Captain Marvel, and I'm going to give you my first impressions of it, but first there's one thing I want to talk about before we do that. If anybody has been aware of this movie and been keeping even somewhat up to date with everything that is going on in the background, you'll notice that there's a particular group that has been pushing this movie for people to watch it, and they've been pushing in the wrong way and the wrong reasons. Now that group is technically the leftist, but I really don't like getting into politics. I don't like politics in general. I'm just trying to make my way through life, people. But anyways, a branch of that group kind of called themselves the SJWs. That being social justice warriors. That is to say that they fight for social justice. A bunch of first world spoiled brats if I ever saw one. But for some of you out there, you may not really care about it and to be honest, well, I can understand. It doesn't really affect our lives that much. I mean, come on, it's a movie that we're going to go see it. It's from Marvel. It is literally titled Captain Marvel. I mean, how meta can that be? Sadly, though, like with the show Ruby and what's going on with the voice actors right now, the things in the background of Captain Marvel have kind of surfaced as well, leading to, well, some very bad publicity. Like the actor playing the main character literally telling people that white males should not watch this movie because you're part of the Patreon. But that's not the only problem about this movie. As I said, they were kind of pushing people to watch this. Not because, hey guys, it could be a cool movie, you should go watch it. But mostly because of the fact that it got a woman in it and a woman lead actor. And you gotta watch it because it's for the woman. You get my point. It's the bad reason. But I found out about Captain Marvel before that. Now my first introduction to Captain Marvel actually was with Ms. Marvel. For anybody who wants to know what that is, it's literally a more modern version of a superhero. Uh, she's like the combination of uh, Ant-Man and, well, Mr. Fantastic. I dare you to prove me wrong about that. I managed to get a couple of comics at my library and to be honest, the character's not really that interesting and more importantly the story, which all comics are pretty much dependent on is kind of just substandard and yeah and I was kind of afraid that that's what was going to happen with this new Marvel movie did it happen well let's first go over a little bit of what the Marvel movie is about now how do you start a movie with the flashback of course right that's a good way to start a movie right Actually, in this case, it was a pretty nice way. Not gonna lie, the flashback start is kinda cliche, but as I always say, a cliche is just something that we've seen before. It's how you use it. And I have to say, the way they use it here is actually kinda beautiful and, more importantly, brief. But that's pretty much the entire first act of Captain Marvel. They don't linger too much on the whole world building. It's actually really good because we don't start on Earth. We start on an alien planet, but how they present it in such a way that well, we immediately fit in and we feel comfortable with what's all going around because we kind of understand through just subtle hints here and there how this whole world kind of fits together. Now, I have to say, anybody who's seen any number of movies by now would probably be able to pick out a twist that is really freaking obvious and we kind of see coming from the very beginning. I mean, the character starts out with amnesia. That's never a really good sign. And that's one thing I'll say is sort of a problem. The whole amnesia bit is underwhelming and it isn't really concluded properly. But that's not a problem as long as the character is interesting. Is Captain Marvel interesting? Well, we'll find out. Let's first continue onward. Now, the progression through this movie is actually kind of nice. 
it lingers here and there, and to be honest, some of the parts do get a little boring, but for the most part, it's actually really entertaining. Now the whole plot is pretty much based on this one enemy that's out there that's taking over the world, and we gotta stop him and spread the glory that is the Kree Empire. Make Kree great again! Again, like I said, it's just your basic plot. It's nothing really fantastic, but it's nothing substandard either. Uh, it's... well, it gets the job done. Anyways, Captain Marvel finds herself on Earth, and she discovers that the enemy is looking for this magical MacGuffin that will help them conquer the universe. And, of course, she's gotta find it first. And we do get some reoccurring characters throughout this entire movie. Um... Some of them are pretty good, and some of them, uh, eh, but... That's about it! Now if you've seen the commercials, which to be honest, I've tried to stay far away from any trailers nowadays because they have a tendency to ruin the story, but you will know that Mr. Fury is here. I can't exactly call him Colonel Fury right now because he's technically not a colonel. This is happening in the past. I think it's like happening in the 60s or something like that. I don't know. People were smoking weed at this time, so and likely the directors were too. Because this movie is beautiful. I'm just going to say that right now, okay? Let's just get that out of the way. The movie has got some great scenes in it. I mean, just, you're going to look at it and go, wow, that's pretty. Yes, Jerry, the drugs are kicking in, but still, that is pretty. Pink Buffalo over there is pretty too, but that's prettier. But anyways, we continue on, and eventually, yes, the good triumphs, and the twist comes, and we go, oh my god, I totally saw that coming! I didn't see that twist coming, but I totally saw that twist coming! But yes, there is a second twist that does come around, and while it's sort of understandable, while we sort of could have seen it coming, how it's presented, again, like a good cliche, how it's presented, is done really, really well, and I kind of liked it. They kind of took a stereotypical character that we were going, oh, he's the bad guy. Mm, he bad guy, bad guy, and they flipped it around. And I liked how they did that, and he's a very good actor, and I like him. But anyways, like I said, Captain Marvel eventually finds that the power is within me the entire time, and I'm Superman! Not joking, that literally is how things pretty much end up, and it's not bad. And then, of course, we get a whole bunch of action scenes at the end because that's what has got to happen. And that action scenes are pretty good. They're not, like, great, like, holy cow, I have, wow, gee, oh, God, how much money did they spend on that special effect? It was just... And eventually, Captain Marvel managed to get the Magic MacGuffin and save the day and the story ends and it was okay. I mean, it wasn't like, again, it wasn't like a great story, but it wasn't a terrible one either. Now, the character, Captain Marvel... She was okay. Again, I know, surprise! Uh, this movie wasn't bad, as a lot of people were pointing out. It was just okay. This is a very similar situation to the whole Black Panther movie, which in itself was a pretty good movie. It wasn't great, it was good. The problem was lying that with some people telling others that they had to accept that this movie was great, or clearly they were racist or misogynistic, or they just hate people for some reason. No. You cannot like a movie for a numerous amount of reasons. Now, I accept when a movie's bad or good, but there are reasons for me enjoying a movie and not enjoying a movie. And I have to say, I enjoyed Captain Marvel, for the most part at least. There were a few parts, like I said, that just, you know, uh, dragged on a little bit, and you're like, come on, let's get back to the story, please. But at the end of the day, it's a Marvel film. I really doubt that they're going to make a flop deliberately make a flop anytime soon. But that's not to say that the movie itself did good. Because to be honest, it didn't. Anybody who goes to Rotten Tomatoes occasionally to watch some of the uh, numbers fluctuate will notice that Captain Marvel went from like 98% on Rotten Tomatoes and dropped down almost to a 78. That's a big drop, people. Literally, A plus to a C. Now, did it deserve that drop? Yeah, kind of. I mean, I, like I said, this movie's nothing special. Again, the problem came with people pushing this movie, saying that if you were a white male, that you were clearly just, oh, you just didn't like Captain Marvel, that's the reason. Which again, kind of goes back to the original comic, which kind of had some of, uh, it had some of that in it, and it wasn't good. It's one of the reasons why the comic has failed numerous times, including, yes, the most recent, Ms. Marvel. If you guys watch it, it you real like I said, character's not that great, story's not that great, 
And uh, throwing that into the uh, mix, whew, that's a bad combination. But surprisingly, this movie still did good. Not great, good. Because if anybody's going out there looking at some of the uh, news report about it, it is rumored that because of Brie Larson, Captain Marvel herself, because of her and all those little niggles out there as well, this movie likely lost a hundred million dollars at the box office. God damn, that is a lot. Now that's nothing new. A movie doesn't do as great as you thought and it happens all the time. But this time, it seems that it might have happened because of those people pushing it and then causing other people saying, you know what, because you pushed it, I don't want to go watch it. And I can't blame them for that, okay? It was hard for me to go watch it because uh, knowing that background meant that I was going to spot all those, I guess you could say, feminist jokes really easily. And yes, I spotted them, and yes, they stood out, and yes, I was saying, if I hadn't known about this background, maybe I would have enjoyed this movie better. But I do know about the background, and it kind of ruins the movie a little bit. But only a little bit. Like I said, this movie was pretty good. Not great, but good. As for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I think that this movie is a good addition to it. To be honest, I kind of enjoyed it, and you might too. But you have to go see it for yourself to find out. And of course, let's just take a little moment right now for a message to all the SJWs and feminists out there. Calm down, please. You're not helping your cause. You're hurting it greatly. Again, hundred million dollars! Chill the hell out. Despite how terrible we can be, despite how terrible other people can be to us, we can still take the high ground and be kind to those who hate us. And like this movie, surprisingly enough, to show kindness where we don't expect kindness to be returned. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been my first impression of Captain Marvel. What did you guys think? Write a comment down in the section below. Did you think that the movie was good? And what about the character, Captain Marvel? Do you think she's interesting? And what about Brie Larson? Do you think she might have had a point? Or um, maybe she should have thought before she spoke. Anyways guys, I look forward to reading your comments. I'm Ricardo, Cynical Critic. With me, no movie sager, no video safe, but all deserve a chance. And I'm glad that I gave Captain Marvel, well, not so much a chance, but a second chance. Anyways, you take care. Toodles!